Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon you all. Her Excellency Mayor Adanit Sabibe, uh, friends, fans, guests, and everybody, thank you for coming. Let me begin by expressing my heartfelt gratitude to the organizer of this event, the Oromiyaku Tourism Commission, in collaboration with the Addis Media Network under the umbrella of Addis Ababa City Administration for giving me this platform where I may not have it later. For giving me this platform to thank every one of you who helped and is still helping me go through the tremendous pain of losing my husband. Ali Bira. To acknowledge you all means the word to me. Ali is a husband to me, but to you all, he is your Adero, your father, your friend, your mentor, and proudly to mention that he is your national treasure. To this government across the board, everybody who put together a very peaceful, respectful, and extremely well-coordinated farewell and funeral service for Ali, I am delighted to say that you are being acknowledged nationwide and abroad for a job incredibly well done. This will go down in history. Also, it is comforting to witness that Ali Bira's lifetime wish of being laid, laid to rest in his most adored home country came true. I know for a fact that this is a way out of his expectations that he will be accorded the utmost respect and recognition while he marches to his grave. You made it possible. You made it happen. From the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank you all. To our friends who flew all the way from abroad, to Ali's fans and colleagues, and to the general public of Ethiopia who wished him well, prayed, and mourned for him, and offered me and my family words of comfort. I am grateful for your resilience understanding and cooperation. Ali and I heard and felt you. To our family, which is too huge to mention, you all did what you can. Please, allow me to mention a few. This is helpful in my personal healing process. My heart goes to the Adama General Hospital, who unconditionally welcomed Ali when he, whenever he was sick. The whole time he, had, he got admitted in your hospital, you have truly assured him in his deathbed that you will do and have done everything humanly possible of the, uh, uh, um, possible to save him. He trusted that he is not in the mercy of strangers, but rather in the hands of the most caring professionals that he had privilege, that he had a privilege to call his very own children. For that, I am sincerely indebted 
you remain my family and will forever be my family. Last but not least, to Yadata Junedi, whom Ali and I considered as a godson, son. No amount of words can thank you enough for the commitment your heart poured in saving your father. You couldn't have done any better. I can only assure you that till the last moment of his life, we both prayed for you. It takes a special person to do what you have done. Heaven knows and listens. As Alibira's wife, I am truly fortunate. I found a husband, a father, a brother, a son, and a friend. He is my hero. Ali's entire, Alibira's entire life with me was and is a blessing beyond measure. I am, living, I am a living witness that he lived a life to the fullest without regrets. I miss him dearly. Yet, still, I feel that I never left. It was just time for him to rest and peace after fighting so hard for my sake and others. The overwhelming and outpouring celebrations of, of his life and legacy across the globe is indeed comforting and a true testament of his hard work. He has touched everyone's life in one way or the other. He enlightened people's lives with his, with his easy going demeanor. He made anybody smile or laugh with a slightest joke to say the least. Ali is known to be a friend to all and enemy to none. Irrespective of age, ethnicity, religion, and political beliefs, he welcomed everybody who came to his door. He had equal ears for the young and the old for the poor and the rich, for the most privileged and for the most unfortunate human beings around. He was generous of his time, his knowledge, his little hard-earned money. He believed that only, you can only share on earth what you have. And he fully trusted that God will take care of the rest in heaven. Alibira did not die in vain. He will remain with us forever as a symbol of peace, love, and unity. He left us with a big shoes to fill it. And I know that I cannot do it alone. Together, let us celebrate his life and continue the legacy he started while he watches over us. We can do it. May God bless him and us as we go forward. Thank you and good night.